areas of rain through 11, not steady rain everywhere. It gets heavier though in the afternoon and that is a concern because we could see a half an inch to maybe an inch of rain in some locations and a few thunderstorms. Lightning being the biggest concern, not expecting hail. We will have the wind pick up, but it'll only pick up to about 20 miles an hour. And I'm debating whether or not to remove the thunderstorm graphics from the 7 and 9 p.m. panels. Some of the forecast modeling is showing that the system moves out by then, something that would be good news. We want this to move through quickly and put down the least amount of water in the Missouri River Basin as it possibly could. But this is what we're dealing with. That's the big picture of our storm. Now let me break it down for you with our first alert radar. This really looks at it with a fine tooth comb. And what we're seeing is a lot of this rain evaporating before reaching the ground but there are some pockets. Remember I said areas of rain and that's what we'll see now through about the noon hour and then after the noon hour you can see this is 3 p.m. It shows some heavier clusters by then moving through and then this computer model shows that our rain chance decreases later this evening and by tomorrow it's gone. But the river flooding continues and any additional water of course is unwelcomed along the river. Here are the current flood stages at a glance just so you can see look for the purple. That's where the major flooding is occurring right now and most of this stays the same throughout the day except for Parkville will go to purple when we go into major flooding in just a few hours along the river there. Here's the details. St. Joe and Atchison have already had their crest for today, and thankfully the waters are receding, but they remain in major flood stages right now. Leavenworth is expected to crest at 1 p.m. at 31.4 feet. That's about a half a foot rise from where we are now. In Parkville, expected to rise another 1.8 feet to 35.3 feet at 1 o'clock, moving up to that major flood stage. Sibley, Napoleon and Waverly will remain in moderate flood stages. It expected to crest in Waverly Sunday morning at 7 a.m., almost another half a foot there. As we look at our nine day forecast, we also have a chance of rain in the middle of the week. It's going to be very close to when the Royals have their home open.